What is up you guys? Um, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian Corey. So obviously you've heard this horrific story that came out of the Los Angeles Dodgers camp involving a very well-known and up to this point popular and very liked individual, Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer signed a massive deal uh, this past offseason with the Dodgers coming over via free agency. Obviously, a lot of controversy surrounding him even before this horrific incident and story broke out, uh, just from things that he said, going after MLB, taking a stance on cheating, going after the Houston Astros, things of that nature. This one exceeds everything when it comes to him being controversial and people getting ticked off about what he says and what he does and what he thinks. If you're ticked off at him right now, I, I, I wouldn't blame you because I'm pretty pissed off right now too. You've heard the story. Trevor Bauer has had sexual assault allegations made against him from a woman. Uh, I do believe he, she is from San Diego, California, that he met online, a dating app. So we're going to go over this very gently and kind of dive deep into what in the hell is going on with Trevor Bauer. So this is an article from ESPN.com. It says the Los Angeles Dodgers star Trevor Bauer strangled a woman he was having sex with until she lost consciousness on multiple occasions, repeatedly punched her in the face during sex, and left her with injuries that required hospitalization. The woman said in a domestic violence Restraining order filed against Bauer on Monday. Again, I just want to note this article was published about 14 hours ago. It goes on to say, She said that the first time she and Bauer met, he used her hair to choke her unconscious. When she had awoke, she said he was penetrating her anally. About three weeks after their first meeting at his home in Pasadena, California, she agreed to return. In that meeting, she said he punched her in the face, the vagina, and the buttocks, and left her with what doctors called significant head and facial trauma. Okay, now let's take a break real quick. People meeting people online just to have sex, that's not new. But regardless of how you like it, you know, this is not like WWE. You're having sex. You're not fighting. I, I, I don't I don't understand what, what was necessary of punching her anywhere. The butt, the face, the vagina, the leg, the arm, the hand. To me, that's not foreplay. I, I mean, I get it. People like it certain ways, but punching, like, that's not fun. Whether you're faking it or not. I mean, WWE guys are supposed to be, you know, fake punches and stuff like that. They still get hurt. I don't know why you need to do that during a sexual encounter. I just don't get it. I mean, that one really sealed the deal for me when it came to, you know, maybe thinking, you know, maybe it wasn't Bauer's fault. Maybe, you know, she's over-exaggerating the situation. And the reason why I was so, you know, on the fence about this sexual assault coming forth against Bauer was because initially the initial report just said they had rough sex. Now, rough. To me, rough is a very vague term to use to describe any encounter, sexual or not. Like, I had a rough day at work. I had a rough day at the ballpark. Whatever it may be. Rough is so vague that there wasn't a lot of detail when this report first came out. All it said was that Bauer had rough sex with a woman. That's all it said, basically. It's all we knew. Now we know more. We know what exactly he did. And according to some other articles, there's some pictures somewhere. Some pictures are available that have, I believe, been obtained by the police in Pasadena, California. But because she's a sexual assault victim, I do not think they want to release that to the public. And they don't want to give her name out to the public because I do think it said that either ESPN or The Athletic has her name, but because she's a sexual assault victim, they cannot release the name due to uh, legalization and stuff like that. Again, rough sex to me, I will say it again, is very vague. But the minute I see punching in the face and elsewhere, you don't need to do that during sex. That, that's not fun. I mean, that I was pissed off when I saw that, that he punched her. Because, again, from what I see from Trevor Bauer on, on YouTube, he seems like a pretty good guy. I, I don't know him personally, you know. Everybody's a good guy in, until you see their bad side, right? But people didn't like him in the beginning, even before this. I don't like him right now. I, I, I'm on the verge of hating this guy. I mean, you know me. I was a big Trevor Bauer advocate. I love what he did with Rachel Luba, Luba Sports, the whole YouTube thing, momentum. I love all that. It's funny, Rachel Luba has not said anything on this, nor has Trevor Bauer, nor has the Dodgers, to my knowledge, so no one has said anything. A lot of hush-hush still around this story, but we'll continue. 
It goes on to say, this is the woman speaking, I had agreed to have consensual sex, the woman said, in a declaration given under the penalty of perjury. However, I did not agree or consent to what he did next. I did not agree to be sexually assaulted. And I'm sure she's referring to the punching. Like, again, rough sex is one thing. Punching, that's a whole different story. Pasadena police continued to investigate the alleged assault, which took place on April 21st and May the 16th. The ex parte order is temporary and does not allow the other party the opportunity to respond. So I take it that Trevor Bauer can't respond to this? Is that what I'm getting at? Hopefully I'm interpreting that right. It says Bauer plans to deny the account during a July 23rd hearing, according to his representatives. On Tuesday, they had issued a statement denying that Bauer had assaulted the woman, calling the encounters wholly consensual. Bauer's representatives also provided a series of messages that showed that the woman inviting the rough sex and talking about how she wants him to give me all the pain and choke me out. So what Bauer's party is saying in this is that they're trying to defend Bauer in the sense of like, well, look, yeah, we had rough sex, but it was consensual. And in a series of text messages, according to Bauer that he has, he has proof of her saying she wants it rough and that she wants this rough sex from Bauer. But regardless of how she wanted to have it done to her, so to speak, I highly doubt she wanted to get punched in the face, in the butt, and elsewhere on her body. Like, I, I highly doubt that punching was in the equation of her having it rough. I, I just don't buy that. I'm, I'm just don't. I'm sorry. I, I highly doubt she wanted to get punched in the face and get two black eyes out of it, by the way. So, Major League Baseball had this to say. It says, Major League Baseball had opened an investigation into Bauer under its joint domestic violence policy with the Players Union, sources tell ESPN. MLB can place him on a paid seven-day administrative leave, but given that there are no arrests have been made and Bauer denies all assault allegations, the league is expected to wait for either the police investigation or its internal investigation to play out before taking action. So what that means is basically they can put him on paid leave, but I don't think they can do anything to Bauer, even put him on paid leave, unless there's some type of legal action taken either by the Woman's Party and the Pasadena Police of California, or MLB find something on their own, and they investigate, and they come to the conclusion that, yes, in fact, Bauer did essentially assault this woman, thus, you know, we're going to punish him some way, and we're going to figure out a suspension for him, and they're going to be on, you know, paid leave for seven days, and we'll figure it out. So that's what that means. So MLB is aware they can't do anything because no one did anything on a legal level yet. That's why Bauer hasn't had anything done against him. But, you know, don't worry. That will happen. Trust me. Here are some more details when it comes to the encounter. Without asking in advance, she said he wrapped her long hair around her neck and choked her until she passed out. The woman said she woke up face down on the bed to Bauer assaulting her from behind. It was extremely painful, she said, adding that she later had anal bleeding. The next morning, the woman said Bauer asked, you feeling a little sore this morning? So you can obviously see where the sexual assault part of it is coming in the assault part of it. I mean, wrapping her hair around her neck. I mean, did he have handcuffs? I mean, this is just really weird. I mean, I don't know what type of sex this guy's into, but dude, like, what the hell is wrong with you? Seriously, what the hell? I, I, I don't get it. Four plays, one thing. Having it roughs, one thing. But choking her out and punching her in the face. Now you can like pretend to choke or something, but even after that, 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 that's even iffy. But to me, it's the punching part. Choking's terrible, but the punching part gets me and pisses me off. Punching, come on, Bauer. What the actual hell is wrong with you, dude? Punching? How is that enjoyable for anybody? Would you want to get punched out? Seriously, come on, dude. Like, what the actual F is wrong with you? I I I'm so wrapped up in that punching part of it. Comment down below if, if that's how you like it out there. You want to get decked? While you're having sex? I mean, that, that's not fun. Now, I want to make this part clear. I'm not 100% sure what encounter Bauer started punching her. Was it the first encounter? Was it the second encounter? Because this article from ESPN is kind of all over the place. Again, I'm reading it in order. It goes on to say, The woman said Bauer wrapped her hair around her neck and choked her unconscious again. Now, what does again mean? Does that mean after the first encounter, the second encounter? I'm not 100% sure. But... 
It goes on to say, when she awoke, she said, Trevor began punching my face. This was the first punch I felt, but it was very possible that Trevor had already been punching and scratching the right side of my face while I was unconscious. So again, the punching part and the scratching part, which I didn't even realize, like, dude, if you want to be that rough, get a sex doll. They're like 20 bucks on eBay. Honestly, what the hell? Again, reading it in order, I know it's kind of confusing, but it doesn't matter how I read it. He still did it. So it doesn't matter when he did it, how he did it, what day he did it, how many times he did it, he did it. So it doesn't really matter when it comes to that part. So it goes on to say, Bauer fouled, she said, with closed fist punches to the left side of her jaw, the left side of her head, and both cheekbones. The woman said she was frozen and terrified and could not speak or move. He choked her again, she said, and punched her her in the vagina. She said she started crying and violently shaking, at which point Bauer said, you're safe. I'm here. You're safe. He later added, according to her account, I would never do those things if it wasn't sexual. Now the part when he says, you know, you're safe. I'm here. You're safe. She's not freaking safe, you dumbass. Why do you think she's shaking like a goddamn leaf? Like, dude, take a hint. So after that encounter, Whichever one it was, the first or second, I'm not 100% sure. Again, I don't really know, but it doesn't matter. The woman eventually left with two black eyes, a swollen jaw, and cheekbones, scratch marks on her face, a bump formed on the left side of her head, her upper lip split, a dark bruise mark on her lower lip, bruises shown on her vagina and buttocks, the letter from punches she said he admitted to throwing when she was passed out. Then it goes on to say what he said, Bauer. He says, you have a couple of welts. I need to be more careful where I hit you. I also punched your butt while you were unconscious, so you may have bruises there. Like, this is full-on sexual assault. I, I, I don't, I mean, rough or not. I mean, even if she was okay with it, let's just say, it's still, like, if you were to watch this somehow, some way, this is sexual assault. Like, no doubt about it. Like, dude, like, what in the hell is wrong with you? I mean, it's, it's, it's like she came out of a, a, a boxing match. So on May 17th, the day after the alleged assault, the woman went to the emergency room and was diagnosed with acute head injury and assaulted by manual strangulation. The woman said she attempted to downplay what occurred out of concern for my privacy and what my statements might lead to. She told police she did not want to file charges. So she filed charges a day after, I believe, the second encounter. So at least she didn't wait. I mean, she could have done it that night, but I fully understand why she did it, because I'd be terrified, too. So, like, that's really all I got. I mean, I, I, I don't know what I, else I can say without using every single swear word in the book, but this dude's got to be gone. I mean, look, I'm a big Trevor Bauer fan. Now, again, when I first saw that report, I honestly thought that it was the media's way of getting back at Bauer for all the stuff that he says, for all the things that he does, calling out Ken Rosenthal. And the funny thing is, is that it was Jeff Passan who did the first report, I do believe, on this, and it wasn't Ken Rosenthal. So I'm surprised Ken didn't try to get this one quickly so he could get revenge on Bauer for calling him a, you know, a fake reporter or whatever he does at the beginning of his vlogs. But uh, regardless, you know, what we know and the punches, the black eyes, the welts all over her body, I mean, it's obvious that this isn't exaggerated by any stretch of the imagination. So you can throw that one out the window. Hashtag F Bauer. That's what I would do. Hashtag F Bauer. This guy's messed up. Meeting people online nowadays is so common. Everybody does it. That part is not weird. The part that's weird is what he did. Like meeting someone up and meeting someone online to have sex, as crazy as it sounds, it's not uncommon these days. It's just not uncommon. But the part that's weird and uncommon is the punching part of him having to literally go to town on her, physically. Two black guys. I don't know what to say. The guy's a dumbass. I think that's appropriate for this uh, discussion. And uh, he needs to be gone. Take a hiatus a little bit. I'm mad because I think he's selfish in his own way. He was doing so good, doing such positive things for the game of baseball. And this one act by Bauer, it single-handedly destroyed all the positive vibes that Mr. Bauer was creating for a great game. And that sucks. So like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts on the bastard Bauer. Share the video because it needs to be heard. And I'll catch you later.